Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. It's a, a pretty little file. Um, let's just see how big it is. Three by three, three and a half, three and a quarter, whatever. So the first thing I do when somebody sends me a file, I take a rectangle, put a box around, uh, fill it in with yellow, go to object, order, back a page. And you can see part of the logo has a white box. Part of it doesn't. That's because probably this beer mug, uh, which is pretty clear, has a white box around it. And the, the wordage is probably just uh, on, top, on top of that white box. That's exactly what I uh, thought. So what I'm going to do, they want to cut this out of a sticker or make a sticker out of this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set my nudge factor on four inches. And I'm gonna take the wordage and move it over. Whoop. So that's all I have. Now this is pretty small, so I don't have to do anything to it, but I am gonna make a duplicate of it and move it over. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna to go to trace bitmap outline trace clip art. Because I can't imagine that you'd want the white background in the picture. Now, the trace not, might not be as good as the original picture, but we can look at it, and it really is. So in this case, this would work. So let's just move this out of the way, and now we can move this all back and see that, well, there is some white in the handles. So let's take our bitmap, and let's go to object, order, or group, and ungroup it. And let's just grab that white. I'm glad I did that. And then there's actually some white around the handle, but that's like a part of the handle, so that'll work. Now, they want to make a sticker around this. So what I'm going to do, now I can get rid of my yellow box. Matter of fact, I'm going to move it off through their page. And I'm going to make a duplicate by hitting the plus key on the keyboard, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to left click, right click. That's going to help us a lot when we contour it because <clears throat> they want to put a sticker around there. I'm going to take and I've got it to use the contour. I can use the boundary tool, but it's just going to put a boundary of everything. So I'm going to go to object group and group it together or control G. I'm going to go to effects and contour to the outside with rounded corners, let's say a quarter of an inch. Now that might, that didn't work. So let's make sure we got it all connected. You can move it and then just move it right back. Let's go uh, half an inch, 0.5. That's still not working well. Um, let's go one inch. That's way too big, but we're not incorporating the sticker yet. Um, so that's way too big for a sticker, but what we could do now is go up to object and break the contour part, grab our new contour, come to the inside now at a half an inch. And you get that. Now, if you're happy with that, I'd go with it, but I'm not happy with that. Let's go, let's contour 0.75 to the inside. Eh, it's not perfect. Um, and so let's try a different way. Let's back up here. Let's um, let's take away that contour. And let's try this. Let's try to go to object, group, and ungroup it. And then use the boundary tool and just see what happens. The boundary tool just put, a, put that around it. So maybe that'll help us now with our contour of the outside, a quarter of an inch. Make sure it's rounded corners. See, that's a lot better. Then go up to object, break contour apart. And this is, I can't remember if we got rid of the white background on this. Um, this one or not, object, order, back of page. Yep, see, that's our good one. So now we can take this, go up to object, well, I think I already broke the contour apart. Move that over. 
right click to make sure it's a red hairline so you signify hairline and there's your boundary around the sticker now if that's a little bit too much around the sticker you could grab that contour go to the inside like 0.1 whoop go to the inside and go up to object break contour apart get rid of that red line and there and then i would strongly suggest taking that and making it a hairline so you'll just know that to me would be a good looking sticker it's a little you know i don't know what they're cutting it out with uh, you know this edge is a little jagged not really jagged um, but you could always use the smoothing tool and just click on it because it, it's contouring around every letter so let's go like 0.5 And we're just going to smooth out. Now, this is personal preference. I kind of like that it was going along every letter. Matter of fact, you could go around the whole thing like that. Um, I don't know, you know, what they're cutting it out with. You know, how, see how when I click on it, I get nodes. And that way I can kind of know. And see, I'm not going to touch the inside stuff because it's not highlighted. And it's just, it's making a smoother, you know, you don't want to have too jagged of the edge. I, I would think for stickers, I would, I would love to make stickers. But see, I just got rid of some of the nodes. And you could, you know, you could do a straight line across there, but I think it really needs to be, see, nothing selected. I'm going to select it. I can see my node. So you can go back over it. The bigger your nib is the smoother it's the faster it's going to work not really the smoother but the faster it's going to work see how it's it's basically reducing nodes see there there are three nodes right there now there's only one that to me now i don't know if when they print this if this needs to be white you know, for the sticker, but you could always do this right here and go object order back a page. And now let's take away our yellow box. Well, let's add our yellow box back. I know I'm gonna have to go object order. And that's what, if you printed that on white, that's what it's gonna look like. And you don't have to make it white, you could, you know, it could be any color. Um, you don't want to make it yellow, say a pink on your sticker. But I know nothing about printing stickers. I would think you would just want either the white or nothing. Maybe it'd be clear. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're printing it on white. I have no clue. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.